So for our first recipe, because this um, recipe does have two parts, it has the marinara dipping sauce and then the garlic bread grilled cheese. So for the marinara dipping sauce, the equipment that you're going to need is a saucepan, uh, something to, to stir your sauce with, a mixing spoon, or here I'm using a rubber spatula, a liquid measuring cup, a can opener, and some measuring spoons. Right, so when we're measuring uh, liquid, you wanna make sure for this recipe, we need one and one quarter cup. You'll also see a quarter cup down here. A mistake that a lot of students make when they see a quarter cup is they'll come all the way up here, but this is actually one cup and one quarter cup. So to start off, we're going to pour some water in to about where we think it might be correct. We then need to set it on the counter and bring it down to eye level. And as you can see, we're actually at one and a half cups. So I'm gonna pour a little out. We are still a little too high. And now we have one and a quarter cup. So the list of ingredients for our marinara dipping sauce is the one and a quarter cup water that we measured. We have half a teaspoon of salt. My salt is pink because I use a Himalayan pink salt, but table salt, kosher salt, any salt is fine. We have a teaspoon of sugar. We have a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of onion powder, two teaspoons of Italian seasoning, a half a teaspoon of crushed red pepper flakes. This is optional. And one six ounce can of tomato paste that we will use a can opener to open because you never use a knife or something else to try and stab open a can. The very first step in this is to go ahead and open our can of tomato paste with the can opener, never a knife. And then you want to carefully remove this lid. These are sharp edges. I just like to kind of twist at the end to get that off. And of course it doesn't want to come off. Like that. Okay, I have emptied my can of tomato paste into my saucepan. I'm gonna put this on um, about a medium heat and I'm gonna slowly start adding in some of my water. And I'm just gonna try and mix this up a little bit. You can use, um, I'm using a rubber spatula here, but you can use a spoon, you can use a whisk. All right, now I'm gonna add some more water. I'm just trying to incorporate the water. As it starts to heat up. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and add the rest of my water in. If you find that you think that the sauce is too thick or too thin, you can add, um, this is why you slowly add in the water. So if you think that it's at the desired consistency that you like right now, you don't need to add in the rest of the water, but I'm gonna go ahead and add it all. And if after you've let it simmer for a while and you think that it's a little too thick still, you can add a little bit more water. So now at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and add in all my seasonings, adding in my sugar. I will be using crushed red pepper, but if you don't like spice, you are free to omit that. My garlic powder. My onion powder. Italian seasonings. and my salt. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get this all mixed up and I'm gonna let this simmer away on the stove for about five minutes or so until or until it's completely heated through. And then I'm gonna serve it with my garlic bread grilled cheese. Um, after a few minutes, you can taste this and if you think it needs more spice, 
You can add more crushed red peppers. If you think it needs more salt, you can add more salt. Um, some people prefer a little bit sweeter of a marinara sauce, so you can also add a little bit more sugar. And I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna let this simmer on the stove at like a medium heat for the next five minutes or so while I start prepping my grilled cheese. The equipment that you're gonna need for your garlic bread cream cheese is some sort of saute pan. Uh, you're gonna need a spatula, um, a butter knife for spreading your garlic butter. I personally like to use a fork to mix up the garlic butter. Uh, you can also use a spoon though, and then a bowl to mix your garlic butter mixture into. Our ingredients for our garlic bread grilled cheese are eight slices of bread, four slices of mozzarella, four slices of provolone cheese, and then for our garlic butter mixture, we have half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of dried parsley, a tablespoon of oil, and four tablespoons of butter. Now you will see on a stick of butter here that they are always labeled on one of the sides right here. And it says tablespoon, 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 tablespoon. It also has um, a quarter of a cup listed on here and all sorts of different measurements. So all you need to do is count out one, two, three, four, and you're gonna cut right there. And as you can see, that is how I got my four tablespoons of butter for this recipe. The first step in our garlic bread grilled cheese is to make our garlic bread uh, butter. And so it's really important that you start with room temperature butter. You see how easily I'm able to, to mash this down? So you need to measure out your butter and let it sit out for at least an hour till it is nice and soft. Um, next, you're gonna go ahead and just add your tablespoon of oil. You are going to add your dried parsley flakes and you're gonna add your garlic powder and then you just need to give this all a good mix until it's all incorporated. And this is why I like to use a fork because I feel like you can kind of mash it all together. It goes through the tines of the fork. and that looks all thoroughly combined. And so this is our garlic butter for our grilled cheese. The next step in our recipe is gonna be assembling our grilled cheese sandwiches. So I have my bread and both of my cheeses and my garlic butter. Since this is gonna be a sandwich and a ready to eat food item, I am going to be wearing gloves as I assemble these. So the first step is to take a little bit of your garlic butter and lightly coat one side of bread And then you're going to coat a second slice of bread. And you see I'm not using a lot. So this should be enough garlic butter for four sandwiches. Okay, and then what we need to do is actually flip these over because the buttered side is the side that's gonna go into the pan. So I'm gonna take one side and flip it over and I'm gonna add a slice of mozzarella cheese. And then I'm going to add a slice of provolone cheese. You can feel free to experiment with any kind of cheeses that you like. These are just the cheeses that are gonna be provided and complement the marinara. And we have one sandwich done, and we're just gonna repeat this until all four of our sandwiches are assembled. We're gonna cook our grilled cheese. You see I have two of them in my saute pan. I'm gonna cook this again on about a, a medium, medium high and um, you're gonna need your spatula. And in this pan, I was able to fit two. So what you wanna do is you wanna cook them for a couple minutes, um, and then you're gonna start to check them by kind of like lifting it up and peeking underneath. But you wanna make sure that the, the butter is nice and melted and your bread starts to turn golden and your cheese starts to melt. These were just placed in the pan, so that's going to take a few minutes. Depending on the heat of your stove, this can take anywhere from two minutes to four minutes. So these have been cooking for a couple of minutes and I'm just gonna kind of flip one up and I'm gonna look underneath it and see how it's looking and it's looking really nice and golden brown. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a nice flip. You can see it's starting to crisp up. That is exactly what we're looking for. I'm just gonna carefully flip. If it's easier for you to just cook one at a time, you can also cook one at a time. And now I'm just gonna let those keep cooking on the other side until they are also golden brown. So I have my completed grilled cheese and my completed marinara sauce. 
And so to plate, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna add a little bit of my marinara sauce into a small bowl. Um, you can feel free to plate any which way you like. You can drizzle the sauce on the plate. I, I strongly encourage you to be creative. Uh, and then how you cut your grilled cheese is also up to you. You can cut this into sticks for dipping, but I'm just gonna go kind of traditional and I'm just gonna cut my grilled cheese on the diagonal like so. And then I have my plate and I'm just gonna add my grilled cheese. I'm just gonna kind of go like that. And there you have it, your garlic bread grilled cheese with marinara sauce.